afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, this is Redberry Wheel here, and welcome back to another Civil Air Patrol video. In today's video, I just wanted to discuss the SDA, or the Cadet Staff Duty Analysis Assignments for when you are in Phase 3 and Phase 4. And this video is just going to be a brief overall summary of the different things, like the different components in the SDA process. This is a newer process that was established in about 2018, so if you were a cadet prior to that, you may not be familiar with it, but if you are currently a cadet officer, then I hope you are at least roughly familiar with it, and then this series that I am making associated with it will better orient you with how to meet the requirements for SDAs and excel when you are pursuing those endeavors. So I'm just going to start off by saying that this is a four-step process, and the cadet staff duty assignment is to kind of provide cadets with the experience of writing technically and giving them the skills to prepare and present some kind of oral side or oral component to that paper. Public speaking is a really critical skill that having in any job can be very beneficial. So it's just a great way to practice in addition to getting feedback. So let's talk about that four step process. The first part of it is to pick what document you are going to write. There are eight different SDA types of papers that you can write and this can vary in difficulty based off of what type of document it is. For example, if you've never put together a resume, you are given the chance to make a resume and then get feedback on it, which I will talk about the feedback portion a little bit later, but you can put together that resume and it's not necessarily where you have to write out paragraph upon paragraph about a resume, you just structure it like a resume. So some of them are a little bit more challenging than others, but depending on what your experience is with writing, it might be easier to start out with specific writing assignments that you're familiar with and then try more difficult ones later on. But I know I personally didn't get a chance to do this new system. So no matter what you do, as you go through the program, you will eventually do all of them. So just try them out, challenge yourself. And if you ever need help, then seek out mentorship from people in your unit or maybe friends that you have in Civil Air Patrol. If not, you could always talk to an English teacher if you have one available or have a parent or guardian read over the paper. Someone, just have someone read over the assignment before you turn it in. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Another component to it is serving in a cadet staff assignment. And you can be in any support staff position, but I highly recommend trying out different positions to kind of see the different areas that you can support. For example, you may not know what goes into being on the safety side of things. So maybe going into that cadet safety duty assignment where you can support that senior member who's providing safety briefs to the squadron and learn about ORM and mishap reporting. All of that kind of information can be very useful and creates a more well-rounded cadet. If you do not have the opportunity to receive mentorship on the squadron level, then you could always reach out to your chain of command and see if it's possible to reach up to the next level of things. So like the group or the wing and see if you can have a discussion with people who are in those staff positions to get as much as you can out of that role. For example, if you are in the support role of ES officer and you may not have an active senior member in that position, it might be worthwhile to have a discussion with the group level or wing level ES officer to say, hey, what kind of steps do you take as an ES officer that helps effectively train and implement procedures within emergency services on your level? And by having that discussion, you could potentially take a lot away and implement those things at your squadron and then maybe get more senior members involved with that. Who knows? But by serving in that cadet staff assignment, that cadet support staff assignment, that enables cadets to be more well-rounded and kind of understanding the different aspects to Civil Air Patrol. The third component of it is creating that oral presentation. Now, some of them are a little bit trickier to present like I mentioned earlier that you can create a resume. Having a resume and then talking about it for 10 to 15 minutes can be very challenging. And so what I'm planning on doing is creating videos tailored specifically to each SDA with tips and tricks that I recommend to be successful in writing those and presenting them. I have personally been on the senior member side and grading them, like looking at the rubric, checking off the boxes and then providing cadets with feedback. So if you ever do want feedback, you can email me at redberrywheelbusiness at gmail.com as long as you are CCing someone else. If you do not CC someone else on that email, then that is 
kind of violating the cadet protection policy and that is not good. So please make sure that you are ceasing a parent, trusted senior member or guardian and we can go on from there. If you don't have someone available to help critique and provide feedback before you do any presentations. And then there is a discussion with your senior mentor that discusses your performance in the support position, the written portion, and the oral portion. If you are not familiar with the process, that's okay. That's why we're, we're doing this, but just keep in mind that you are required to submit the written portion first before you try to have your speech because depending on how successful that writing piece is, we first have to grade the written assignment as meeting the standards. And then once it meets standards and no longer requires revision, then we can move on to the oral presentation phase. If you do not have approval for that written portion, you are not supposed to be doing a presentation because you're supposed to get that feedback and saying, hey, you've met the standards, great job, let's move on to the next section. And if there are areas for improvement, then you can fix those and kind of improve upon them based off of the recommendations that are being given to you. And then after those are integrated, you can have a stronger oral presentation. So now let's take a moment to talk about the different types of SDAs, how challenging they might be, and suggested duty assignments that are associated with each one. Okay, so there's the resume, background paper, advocacy paper, operations plan, budget, media package, after action review, and personal leadership plan. As a part of this video, I am actually gonna include in the description the pamphlet that's associated with this. It is highly suggested that you review those things first before you make your paper or you present your oral presentation. Part of that is because just as a best practice, it's good to understand what the expectations are for your assignment. If you don't know what the word count is supposed to be, then look at the pamphlet, check and see what it is, and then you can tailor your paper to that. If you are writing an advocacy paper or a background paper, I suggest brainstorming and creating kind of that outline for how you want to structure the paper, and then you can fill it in. There's actually gonna be a little bit of a process that I discuss later on, which will be a fun overview on how to do persuasive writing, which I'm really looking forward to recording, but have not recorded yet. So be on the lookout for that. That's all I'm gonna talk about for this video. I just wanted to provide a quick overview on SDAs. And if you do have any questions for me about the process or getting feedback on it, please feel free to leave it in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And that is all folks, until next time, toodles.